Mr. Garbo, you are the vice president of the UAG a long time ago and uh, also a president of the British Gymnastics. Please explain our visitors uh, what's uh, the reason why the British Gymnastics is such a big nation now, a gymnastics nation. It's not only tradition, it's also a new development. It's, it's not new, it is something we've put in place over a very long period of time. It started in 1992 with the appointment of Adrian Stan, who brought a new system, a new regime and a new philosophy which we've embraced. And the important thing in the process is uh, not just taking gymnasts when they get to the highest level, but really starting at grassroots providing a proper form of development, a progressive training system, one which develops gymnasts through an age uh, process so they learn the skills, they learn them properly and they move forward in a system that is committed to working within a process and also a system that works with their coaches. Um, what we have created is a real partnership between the gymnast individual coaches, between the coaches at the international level who are at the center of our organization. Um, so there's confidence in both the gymnasts individually, con the confidence in their own coaches and the con confidence in the national system to work together and to get results. Um, This has been important. You know, historically, and I'm sure it's not just happened in Britain, you used to have a situation that you would develop a gymnast and you would hand them over and the national system would take them up. That doesn't happen. We not only support the individual coaches, we support the gymnasts through uh, our UK sport funding process through the governing body. So there is a commitment to work together and a commitment to get results. Uh, and you may have seen here and also in other events where it's the individual coaches who are with their gymnasts so there's a strong working relationship and that has been part of the process. We also of course made a huge investment in bringing international coaches the world's best into our system to help develop that some still are there of course um, particularly on the men's side but in principle We've allowed our coaches to develop, to develop the skills and to be uh, uh, training at the highest international levels. And now we're seeing the results. Two kilometers from here, five days ago, a British junior team won the International Junior Team Cup last Saturday. Yes. And we saw uh, gymnasts from the future. Well, that's right. And uh, This, a good example of how the system works. Last year in Birmingham, our uh, men's team were the team silver medalists. Our junior team were the junior uh, gold medal winners. The juniors are moving up to the seniors. The ones who've gone into the juniors are better. And so it, it's, it's a structure that's going through, as right through the age categories from the 9, 10, 11, 12 year olds through to the top gymnasts. The other important aspect, of course, is keeping gymnasts in the sport, and that is achieved through financial support. Um, so, obviously not professional, but they are work, they're training full-time, and their coaches, as I said, are there to support them, so they remain in and they remain committed, and they can train with that confidence of, and security. Uh, this year is the year of the 200th uh, anniversary, uh, anniversary of uh, German gymnastics, 200 years ago. Here in Berlin, the Hasenheide, the first uh, gymnastics place, were opened from Mr. Jan. And now are here the uh, Europeans. What's your opinion about the first day, about the, the conditions here in the Max Schmeling Halle, uh, with a view of a uh, vice president of UAG? Well, I think the, the thing that struck me is the fact that we have a great audience. That is what's so important to the gymnasts. So often, the first day of a qualification, the first morning of a qualification, it's quiet, it's dead. And yes, the gymnasts perform, but to have that enthusiasm, the crowd behind everybody who's competing, it brings the best out in the gymnasts. It, they feel they're performing to an audience. They're not just uh, performing to a series of, of empty seats. 
So there's obviously been a great deal of work going on. A lot of school children here, again that's important. Youngsters seeing the top performers, it brings, it develops the sport, it encourages them to, if they are not in gymnastics, to get involved in it. And it doesn't matter what level, whether it's at the lowest level, the recreational, the gymnastics raw level, or to develop their elite skills and to go to the highest possible potential of future champions in Germany, the world, Olympics. It's a, it's, a, it's a great sort of opportunity for them to see top-class gymnastics. The other thing, I think, there's a nice intimacy to the hall. It's, um, there's one side, obviously, it's not so easy to move around, but on the other hand, the audience is close to the, to the gymnast, to the, what is happening, to, and uh, that, I think, is great. Thank you, Mr. Garber, and have a nice stay here in Berlin. Thank you. Good luck.